Today on TNT Big Show, we take a look at one of Nintendo's secret weapons. All today on TNT Big Show. Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Michelle Lynn Tackett. And this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show. Thank you for all the new subscribers and stuff. And if you like our content, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And you can also help with the algorithm by watching the whole video. Thumbs up in the video if you like it. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. We really want to hear from you. You can also save this to a playlist or share it to your social media and stuff like that with your family and friends. And when you think of the great second parties or first party that Nintendo has worked with, who do you always think of? Monolith Soft, Retro Studios, Next Level Games, Intelligent Systems, Platinum Games, even people that Nintendo used to own, like Rareware, Silicon Knights, Level 5, Left Field Production, Factor 5, excuse me. But there's a studio you need to know more about, and that's HAL Laboratories. HAL started out as a very small company that would make little games that were just really niche. But then they thought of a game called Kirby. Kirby. Kirby became their franchise, and they have two of the most legendary figures ever have come from HAL Laboratories, and that would be the legend Satoru Iwata and the legendary Masahiro Sakurai. They have made games like Earthbound, helped with other games for Nintendo, and they have done this year's Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Kirby. Right. Oh, go ahead. They also did Smash Brothers Melee. Yep, they did the original Smash and Smash Melee. So they know how to make genre-defying oh, classics. Oh, oh. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, a lot of people think, is up there with Mario Odyssey as one of the best 3D platformers they've ever played. And it really pushes the Switch. A lot of people think it's one of the best-looking games on the Nintendo Switch, and I happen to agree with that. But HAL has been loyal to Nintendo. They have made some the best Nintendo games. They're not afraid to take chances. Chances, no. Kirby and the Epic Yarn was made with yeah. good field games, and that was such a great game. I love Kirby and the Yucca Girl. Yeah, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe comes out early next year, and it looks incredible. HAL Laboratories has some talented artists, engineers, and gameplay specialists. Yeah. You really need to check out some of their games. They're a hoot. Any studio that produces Masahiro Sakurai and Satoru Iwata has to be something good. Good, yeah. I love HAL Laboratories. Yeah. I love their focus on uniqueness and gameplay. Mm -hmm over graphics and stuff, although they can do some great graphics, but the fact is they like gameplay and simple fun and innovation, and that is just right in my wheelhouse. You all need to get to know how laboratories, as Obi-Wan and some other YouTubers say, put some respect on that name. Long live how laboratories yeah. Nintendo's unsung hero. Yeah. This is Michelle Ann Tackett. And this is Sean. Have a good one. Chicago. Acknowledge me. Thank you all for enjoying the video, and thanks to our Patreons for supporting us. You guys help make this video possible. And you can also join our Patreon if you want for as little as $1 a month. You can get things like Jack's Joke of the Week, which will be up later today. You can also join our Reddit, which is TNTE Games. And you can also join our Discord, which is TNT Big Show 3665. And that's not all. We have an Instagram, we have TikTok, and we have a WordPress blog. Thank you all for supporting us so much, and have a wonderful day.